Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the introduction to database management system. So in the session, we have covered what is the data and what is the information and uh, what is actually the database. Now, in today's session, we'll cover a small concept that is different types of databases. Right. Now we'll see different types of databases available. So actually, before going to that, we know that a database is a collection of large data in a single space. Right. Now, we'll go with the types of databases. The first one centralized database. Centralized database. Here, the name itself indicates a database is maintained in a central level and from that, the multiple users from the different places will be accessing the common database. That is called the centralized database. So, there will be one database and which is accessed with the multiple users. So, it will be having one database plus multiple users so multiple users will accessing the same database right that is called the centralized database second one is distributed database so here also the name itself indicates the database is distributed in different places so at a time the multiple users will be accessing the multiple data databases right so based upon the end users the database will be divided and at the same time the multiple users can access the multiple databases at the same time so multiple databases will be there here plus multiple users multiple users right next the third one is a personal database So personal database is a very small database which is maintained by the single user. So in our personal computers or laptops, we can maintain the database and we can access those database. Right? So such type of database maintained by the single user and user personally, that which we can call it as a personal database. So here the database is very small. So single user and single database so which is used for personal purposes okay then the fourth one is end user database end user database so here the end users are different users so each user will be having their own role and responsibilities so for that purpose these users can access the database right so mainly these can be used in applications different applications right so these can be used in applications different applications right for example if you take an office so a managers will be accessing the database and the uh, users or programmers will be accessing the databases right such type of database we can call it as an end user so he there the responsibility is based upon the role and responsibilities the users will be divided uh, or categorized right so such type of users we call it as an end user that means who is accessing the database whether the programmer 
or the manager level so both are having the roles and responsibilities so both will be having the privileges right so that is based upon this end user database so mainly these will be used for applications different applications right so these are the few types of databases next The next one is the commercial database. Commercial database. So the name itself indicates commercial means we have to pay some uh, amount for using those type of databases. So user have to pay the amount for accessing the database. Right. So that is the user how to pay for accessing the database or accessing the data from the database so the, such type of data uh, we can call it as a commercial database that means a purely commercial next a relational database so which we are going to use this, uh, which we are going to elaborate the database. This is a, a relational database. So in the first session, I have explained that a database, the data will be organized in forms of tables. That is nothing but our relational database. Why we call it as a relational database? Because so there will be different tables and we have to give the relation between one table and another table. Right. So in terms of data is represented in terms of tables and each table will be containing the rows and columns and this column we call it as attribute and these rows are nothing but the tuples we can call it as a tuple or a record we can call it as a record right so collection of attributes is nothing but a record Collection of all attributes will give a record. So this data in terms of tables is called the relational database. And here there will be multiple tables and there will be some relation between one table and another table. So that's why we call it as a relational database. Right. Next. Cloud database. Cloud database. So nowadays we know that the cloud, that means a large data storage. So here the data will be stored in a cloud and from the cloud, the users will be accessing the database. So there is no limit in size, right? So this is mainly built for the virtual environment. So data is stored in cloud. Data is stored in a cloud and this is mainly built for virtual environment. Virtual environment. Right? So this is called our cloud database. The next one that is object-oriented database so we know that that object-oriented means everything will be treated in terms of <coughs> excuse me classes or objects right so here this is nothing but the object oriented programming plus a relational database So this is a combination of object oriented programming and the relational database, right? So here everything will be treated as objects rather than the actions and 
the relationship is nothing but a data other than the logic right so mainly everything will be in terms of objects objects or classes so the combination of object oriented programming plus a relational database so here the object oriented programming can be achieved with the help of the languages uh, we had a, a number of pro object oriented programming languages like c++ or java right so with the help of those languages we will get the objects and that is related to the relational database and organize it, the data organized in a uh, similar way of relational database so this is called our object oriented database right and one more thing is there that is the last one it's a graph database graph database so we know that a graph is a collection of nodes and edges so a graph consists of nodes and edges right so here in this database a node represents the entity and edge represents the relationship between entities So here a node represents the entity, single entity, and the edge represents the relationship between a different entities. So this is how the graph database is organized. Right? So these are all the different types of databases. So from the next session, uh, we'll go with this relational database. Right? So how the data is organized in tabular format, that means in terms of rows and columns. So let us stop here. So these are a few types of databases we have covered in this session. So if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really understood my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.